Ahoy there mateys, and what is going on YouTube? This is Jim, back with another video. I gotta tell you, as far as days go, this Valentine's Day has been one of the crappiest days I have had in quite some time. My wife is on travel, I burned my hand on the oven making dinner, my dog is gonna have to get her tooth pulled tomorrow, my other dog is missing her eye, and work is an absolute train wreck right now. My management is off the deep end, and I seem to be the only one sane enough to explain to them how screwed up they are, but they don't listen to me. Good thing I got this in the mail today. This right here is the official wireless controller for Sea of Thieves from the Xbox store. Now, I did a video some time ago looking at pictures of this, and my wife surprised me today with this in the mail and that's actually really cool so i thought what better way than to end a horrible day than by looting some booty and plunder and other pirate jokes and checking this bad boy out now i don't really think sea of thieves is going to set the world on fire i have played the closed beta for a very long time there's yet another beta this weekend um I know that it's coming out for Games Pass, and I have said since I saw this controller that this controller is the best thing to happen regarding Sea of Thieves. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong, and I will be the first to admit my incorrectness. Um, anyways, let's take a look at this beauty. Now, like all Xbox One controllers, this also comes with a matching controller stand, but that doesn't come out until May, which is really, really odd that they're selling the controller now, but that you have to wait until May to get the matching controller stand. But I digress. So this is actually really cool that I got this because I was really curious how the texture was. So yes, I spent $70 to feel the texture. Now, I do collect Xbox One controllers, as you guys know. So I'm gonna hold it up for the webcam to check it out. Now, I'm gonna go over everything on my previous video because like four people watched it. So I'm gonna hope that maybe more people watch it this time because I got the actual stick as opposed to just a picture of the stick from some goofy website. So walking through the controller, there's a lot of things that I didn't notice necessarily on the picture that I'm checking out now. Um, as usual, for some reason, Microsoft cannot seem to get their, uh, by the way, my camera's over here. It's not like I have a weird left twitch. I'm looking to make sure it's in focus for everyone at home. Um, Xbox has a really weird like process in these controller buttons. They can't seem to figure out what they want to do with them. Um, I am confused as to why these controller buttons are so like normal. Yes, they're all green, they did a good job of that, and they omitted the colors. So you notice that there isn't like a red next to the B, or a yellow next to the Y, etc. They got rid of that, and I'm happy. However, um, they didn't do much with the styling of the actual letters. Now, on the Gears of War controller they did, and I thought that was a really cool touch. And I was kind of hoping to see that carry forward, but unfortunately on this controller they didn't do that. Thankfully, they didn't put any of the obnoxious colors on it, so it doesn't really like stand out. Like when you look at this controller from a distance, the first thing that pops in in your field of view has got to be this X here in the center. Now, this is really cool because, um, or the skull rather, I, I think would have made it really cool is if the skull was where the X was, but they still have the X. I'm assuming it's for branding purposes. Like you'll never not have an Xbox One controller that doesn't have the X in the top. Um, but the skull looks really, really cool. I like how it kind of pops out against the other controller, uh, the rest of the control scheme. Now, there's some, a little tension to detail. Who knows if the webcam will pick it up right around the stick. Uh, I'm, I'm right over here. You'll see some icons there and you also see some small little icons. Um, oh no, you don't. Oh yeah. Very, very faint. Oh no, that's not part of the controller. <laughs> I thought there was icons over the X. That's actually looking through the clear plastic at a little clock icon. Uh, it's like a little clock picture above the X. It looks like a clock. I thought that was part of like a compass or something. Now that's just to see through on the controller. But legit, all kidding aside, over here uh, where I'm pointing, I'm going to let go. And hopefully this camera zooms in again. You'll actually see uh, where the northeast would be. I haven't talked about that part of the controller yet. 
there's actually some little icons. Those are actually recessed islands. So if you rub your finger over the controller, they're actually sunk into the controller and they're like, it's islands, which is actually a really cool touch. And they do wrap all the way around the controller from uh, here all the way around over here. And I think that's a really, really neat touch. I don't know if the thing's gonna focus, probably not. Um, you gotta take my, there it is, look at that. See that to the left of the W? Try not to shake, Jim. Hold it. <gasps> there you go. Did you see it? Um, that's actually a really, really cool touch. And then obviously around the left analog stick, they also have a compass for north, south, east, west. So it's good theming because you have a really nice, um, you know, theme that goes along with the controller that isn't like, you know, over the top gaudy. I do like that. Um, any other details on the front? I guess the only other thing I want to point out um, it's got that finish on it. It kind of looks like barnacles where it's got that green hue to it. They're completely flat though. But then down on the uh, left analog stick, there are more islands. And now that I'm looking at it, I remember in my original assessment, I had said when I showed my original unboxing video that I thought that was pitting from barnacles. I could be convinced either way now that that is either pitting from barnacles like the controller sank and like pieces of it fell off or that it could actually be islands and there's actually like a part of a map because they all are kind of dense enough that it would make sense that there are some islands. And this actually does wrap around slightly around the left stick. I'm sorry, the left part of the stick around to the back where you would grip it, which is actually a really cool feature. So from a front point of view, um, I have to say that this controller really pops. This is one of the, if not the prettiest controllers I think I have in my collection. Now on the back side, um, what do we have on the back side? We have, first of all, your single gold controller trigger, which you could interpolate as a gold tooth from a pirate or a piece of gold, like a gold bar that a pirate found. I love that it is not symmetrical and that only one of them is gold. It adds so much attention to detail on this side and it is a really, really cool feature. I wish Xbox would continue to be bold like this and continue to do offset colors to really highlight one part of the controller over the other. On the back, as with most collector edition controllers, this one does have an icon on the battery cover. It looks like two skulls, maybe unicorns crossing. Um, very mystical, as a pirate would say. Sometimes on these controllers, they put a cute little feature, not the hello from Seattle, but sometimes they put a cute little feature inside the back of the battery cover. This one has no such excitement. It's just a regular boring battery cover. So there, there, there is my unboxing and review of the official Sea of Thieves controller for the Xbox One X. It launched today on Valentine's Day. So if you are feeling down like me and you burned your hand on the oven and your management are going off the deep end, Maybe you can pick this controller up and make yourself feel better like I have talking with you for the last 8 minutes and 23 seconds. Hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing. Have a great Valentine's Day. Get out there, love each other, and until next time, I will see you guys on the other side.